Hi everyone and welcome back. Here we are with Uber Eats clone. Now what is the next here? We talked about AWS CDK. We were talking about these different examples. Okay, how to deploy S3 bucket with the CloudFront for the and how we deploy the microservices that we are going to cover here as a Lambda uh, with the API gateway and RDS because that, that are the advanced examples I'm going to cover in the AWS CDK and I'm going to do that here parallelly with Uber Eats clone. First of all, I have an idea like let's say let's migrate Lana to NX and use the PNPM workspace. So that we are going to do. What we will do is we'll create a PNPM workspace.yml first. So I'm going to just work on that. In this video, let's see how it goes. So we are going to create this as a PNPM workspace and here packages and the apps. So here is the packages and here we have apps. So in the apps we will move all the these are the applications right. So what we can do is I can rename this folder. To apps and there can be another folder with the name packages. So all the concepts, all the common reusability things we can put inside the packages. Okay, so this is like uh, I will just delete this, delete the log file, and inside the apps, if I just go, I will just remove the package log files wherever I see proxy service package log file just delete this over its admin we don't see a log file that we are good. User service. And utilities. Uh, that is just a simple package. Now, now this is. Does this look like a PNPM workspace? We have YML. Okay. Package JSON. Package JSON is the root. Private. And here. This workspace. I mean this workspace is now optional because we are writing a we are already already writing a pnpm workspace.yml saying that this is a the workspace we are using okay so package json we have all the dependencies Lana we can remove from the dependencies all these scripts which are talking about Lana we can clean these for now we will add annex on top of pnpm workspace now what we will do is let's do some pnpm install let's see how it goes so it is installing all the dependencies of all the packages and applications in the packages we don't have much all these applications have, have been moved to the apps folder. So the gateway service, proxy service, and these are the front end application Uber Eats, which is React app, Uber Eats admin, which is using Next.js, and user service, which is using Next.js microservice. So it is installing all the dependencies and then I will just push it so you can also take the advantage. We don't need Lana. JSON, so I will just remove it. We need to create annex. So this is now a PNP workspace. We will just uh, execute simple simple commands from the annex like uh, executing the scripts and all. And then we will add NX on top of it. Because recently I have covered NX. And I really like how NX is automatic and helping us. And how we are putting the dependencies and linking the packages. So that's why I wanted to use NX. Dot git cannot be found. User service. Okay. 
Why do you need husky there? I'll just remove it. Here we need to just check what can break. Restart. Okay, next start. Fill with this code. Okay, dot get cannot be found. Get hook installed. So I will just go to apps auth service. I rename it to the user service. CD apps. What it is complaining? Ask install, but. I mean there are a lot of lot of uh, dependencies which we may not need here I will just remove the husky first of all husky prettier ESLIN configurations can be at the root pre-build post build post install do we have anything now I will just install it again Okay, looks like this is installed. I can see node modules. Okay, that is fine. And then I will add a next command. So nx, I can just get a copy. Okay, this is how. So we have added the pnpm workspace and we are doing pnpm install. There were some dependencies which were missing. So I was able to resolve them. Now I will just talk about some important commands while working with pnpm. I mean these commands help me a lot. So what are these? If you want to add a dependency on the workspace, you can do it like this. pnpm add the dependency name and on the workspace so on the add and add this as a dev dependency. Okay. Then pnpm filter. If you want to run a script on a particular package, then pnpm filter package name and the dev. And here the package names we will fix them. TK Sharma. Okay, let's call it as a Eats driver and Eats gateway. We'll just make it little short. Eats proxy. Okay, Eats re admin restaurant admin. Because these are important now as we are using workspace. So this is admin. Then we have Uber Eats that is I guess create react app. So this is Eats app because this is the main front-end face user facing application and this is again over its admin this is system admin app this is the main admin oh, and user service let's call it uh, each user okay so we have added user service utilities this can be simple each utilities and now we can run all these uh, little commands which i pasted here you can run all the builds parallelly one of my build is failing on the next csr that we will resolve in some time So now it is just building all these different applications. The build is successful for most of them. The next CS application I will filter. If you want to just execute a build on a particular package, then you can use the pnpm command. So what it is doing, pnpm filter app name and what are your app names? You can see app names are each admin, let's say each user. And there I want to execute build command. 
so what it is doing it is doing build command on the user service so i just replace auth service to the user service don't get confused and if similarly you want to add a dependency on a particular package you can do simply like this pnpm add filter application name and the react okay and recently we have added nx so we can now use the capabilities of nx build i want to build user so i'll just do run it will just build this particular application now we will use application and packages there are two different things these are the applications and in the packages i removed this uh, workspace settings from the package json because we already have a pnpm workspace yml saying that packages and the apps are part of the workspace so inside packages i will just create uh, something let's say auth auth package and let's say we are uploading it to s3 pws s3 or send grid for sending the emails similarly you will be adding more and more packages because there are a lot of things which are common across all the packages so new folder logger packages new folder config because config module is common across all the packages new folder i will just add database and then we will see how these packages which i'm adding here can be reused across all the different applications at least for the microservices like the gateway service auth service restaurant service now we are going to add another service which is restaurant service card service checkout service and then we are going to add couple of more services here i will just put that as a infra let's say so i will create uh, another folders here in this because these are the applications and infra is also going to be part of the packages okay and in the infra we will just do a cdk in it because infra we are going to use aws cdk so let's go to our simple command so this is we can just copy one of the applications cdk common example app and then we will take care of the dependencies so inside infra example app instead of this i will just rename it to let's say which application we want to deploy uber eats because that is a front end app so i will just say uber eats infra So infra i mean that contains the changes we want to that just contain another app that is infra app that will deploy my uber eats uh, react front end user facing application so we will add all the stacks and all these things required here inside lib bin we have dependencies so just like you can see another applications we have added i'll just remove node modules packages and we have so now this is another thing we will keep doing and similarly you can create another app which is user service infra okay similarly another infra we will keep adding here i will just do pnpm install So it is doing for all these apps infra i added this correctly yes it is doing something with aws cli so we got the node modules for it so this is our simple set right here we will replace this demo app with the uber eats whatever the script we are executing 
so we just introduce AWS CDK infra to our Uber Eats app. So this is like a restructuring or refactoring you can say to the repository. I will merge this code to the develop branch so that everybody is familiar what we are doing now. From this video onwards, we will add the AWS CDK components to the repository. These are all our packages. We will keep add a couple of more packages and then we are going to use those packages in these applications because there may be a lot of reusable packages we can get from all these microservices because all are nest JS services. So there can be some reusable piece we can put here. And if let's say the react app and next app, there can be a, some reusable package we can put inside a packages and can be used in the react app and the next app. 